Lightroom's always played really well with Photoshop and Bridge, but Lightroom 2 Beta has added some great new Photoshop integration features. In the past, when we wanted to open an image in Photoshop, it would bake out a file and save a TIFF or a PSD, and then it would open it inside of Photoshop. So it would create an extra file. Now it doesn't do that. We can go directly into Photoshop. But there's more than that. Let's right click right now and we're going to choose Edit in Photoshop CS3. And notice now we have an option where we can open as a smart object in Photoshop. Let's click that. Now why do we want to do that? Well the reason is because if we open it as a smart object, here it is inside a layer, it's still a raw file. Now we can just double click on the smart object here and it'll open it in camera raw and we can adjust it like this, make some color balance settings. We're just going to drop that down because it was a little too warm before. Click OK. And now we've made that setting. So that's one thing that's absolutely fantastic. Now, just to let you know, if you want to work in CS3, you have to update it to version 10.0.1. And don't worry, it's a free update from Photoshop, from Adobe.com. So let's go back to Lightroom and let's look at some other options we have here. One of the things that personally I like to do, I don't have any on here right now, but I love to do bracketed shots and work with HDR. Also like to work with a the panorama making using the Photoshop merge. So for example, these ones are obviously not going to work, but let's select three files. I'm just going to hold the shift key and select all three. Now just assume that these were, um, say they were bracketed shots for HDR. Now we right click and when we go under edit in Photoshop CS3, when we have more than one selected, now we have the options to merge to panorama, merge to HDR, or open as layers. So this is absolutely fantastic. This can save a lot of time. And personally, I love the HDR. And I also like to shoot panoramas. So this is a great way of integrating with those different features inside of Photoshop. Let's just scroll down a little bit. Let's grab these three pictures of Angela. Just hitting the shift key here. Let me just click it once again. Hold down the shift. There we go. And I'm just going to right click here. And the the other option here we've got with Photoshop CS3 is open as layers in Photoshop. Now you're going to get this warning here when you open it directly and that's because the Camera Raw plugin in Photoshop is not as new as the one in Lightroom. Because remember Lightroom's a beta so it's using some new technology that's not necessarily available yet in Photoshop. So we can just choose open anyway. And basically what's going to happen is it's going to support pretty much all of the features in of the camera raw, the images are still going to look the same, but what it doesn't support is the localized adjustments. So if you're working between Photoshop and Lightroom, those localized adjustments will be lost when you do this. Although it will give you the option to bake them down into Lightroom and then open them. And, and that works really well too. So here we are, what we've done now is we've opened these images as layered files inside Photoshop. So if you want to have more than one image inside a layered document that you want to work on. Maybe you want to do some collaging or some retouching and take different parts of some photographs and clone them into other parts. You can see we now have this option. So you can see we've got some absolutely fantastic options here for integration with Photoshop CS3. And really, I'm, I'm going to say it really makes sense now with the integration between the two. This is something that I'm just very excited to see inside of Lightroom.